So the Indian Air Force has launched its very own official game called Indian Air Force, a cut above, could have been named better. And it's an invitation for the youth of the country to come and experience the thrill of air combat in a mobile game. A panga ye hai, the Indian youth is kind of busy playing PUBG, so why would they want to fly fighter planes? Let's play the game and uske baad verdict with them. The game has been developed by Therai Military Games, which is a Dwarka based company and has mostly developed military combat games like Guardians of the Sky, which was the first game launched by the Indian Air Force back in 2014. These games are available on both iOS and Android. The gameplay looks engaging, although some controls need polishing. Like the fact that the throttle buttons need to be more accessible. Sound quality isn't the best and I feel that the developers could have done a better job with the music, especially in the training program. It has three modes, single player, free flight and training. The game starts with the training mode and as you complete your training, you are allotted missions to complete which unlock and get tougher as you progress. It's just not about flying and gun battle. You also get rescue missions to carry out and get to operate different combat vehicles. You get to fly aircrafts like the Mirage 2000 and the Dassault Rafale air fighter. The cut above is not a very graphic heavy game and it can run on basic smartphones. You can also go and change the setting and graphics according to your phone's hardware but what I found interesting is that the game's default avatar is someone jinki moocho ke baare mein kaafi tarifes suni gai hain you know him need I say more? you will have to log in using an email id and password which gives you access to extra features of the game there are 10 missions in total the developers are also working on a multiplayer version of the game which will be released in October this year now the game offers users a chance to create their own avatar using well your own face like this although I will not recommend you guys trying this feature because uh, you will end up looking something like this. Yeah that's not a pretty face. Certain game features need access to your files and photos. Why it needs access to make phone calls is a bit confusing. Also it doesn't support the auto rotate function. So a cut above is an Android game with its gameplay it keeps the players guessing what's about to happen next which is exactly what makes it interesting. Now in terms of uh, graphics and sound yes there are a lot of grey areas but I think the developers can work on it and make the game better in the next update. But is the game that interesting that it makes me ignore other air combat games like uh, modern warplanes or star combat? I don't think so.